Hey everyone, Harry here to talk about the real reset and new emphasis on abortion rights. I think to the chagrin or even um, deep frustration of Trump and the Republicans that Kamala Harris is bringing to the fore. Now recall, she's had certain difficulties, at least as vice president, with her portfolio. There was some tension between her and the White House. Do I have to do this one? Why am I doing that one? But abortion and reproductive rights have always been front and center. She's a strong and natural spokesperson for them, and that includes from her time as attorney general in California. So just to contrast, Biden himself, while a supporter of abortion rights, strong religious background, old, older white man, you didn't get the sense that he was the great warrior for them, whether that is fair or not. But um, Harris has totally energized abortion rights groups uh, some already have ads up and the like. And she's also energizing anti-abortion groups. That is, the most anti-abortion forces are frustrated at the Republican Party for not focusing more on abortion, for not following through from Dobbs and pushing for a uh, full national ban or the like. But that tells you something uh, tr as does Trump's stance. So remember what Trump's stance has been lately. Tried to first not say it much, be quiet about it. The word abortion or anything about it was hardly mentioned in Milwaukee. And he himself has retreated to this bland-sounding states' rights theory. That's what, in fact, how he's taken to characterizing the overturning of Roe versus Wade by his handpicked and curated Supreme Court, returning the issue to the states. That's a very strong sign that he and the Republicans understand it's a loser issue for them. If you're out front with an anti-abortion position, you're going against the, uh, and strongly against the trend and the weight of public opinion in the country. It is a winning issue for Democrats. And now that Kamala Harris is the nominee, the putative nominee, she'll become the nominee August 7th, uh, they really have a strong focus on it. So she's been on the stump for all of three days, and each of them has featured uh, abortion rights pretty centrally in, in uh, her very first stump speech on Monday. I will stop Republicans from enacting a nationwide ban. In other words... Uh, if she's president, and but they the the Republicans control an uh, House uh, or the Senate, she's not going to let them, and she'll be able to stop them. That's where she. Well, that's Monday, Tuesday. Um, I will, as president, if presented to it, sign a national uh, bill protecting abortion rights. Again, solid center in her actual stump speech. But the most pointed and uh, revealing of all is today, Wednesday, Trump is having a rally of sorts in North Carolina, which, by the way, he doesn't do all that much. We've had such an energy gap between the two of them. This is an aside, but a really important one. He'll have a couple events a week, play some golf, whatever. She is out there and seems vital and energetic anyway. They are, while well, they have a, an event in North Carolina, she's going to have an event that showcases abortion rights and features or, uh, you know, includes a young woman now who was 12 when her stepfather raped her uh, as a, you know, showcase for some of the some of the extreme uh, positions that Republicans are really pushing. But again, not Trump and Vance. They want to run from it, and they will not be able to. So it's a really tangible aspect and change of the Harris candidacy that abortion will be more front and center and in a very sort of vigorous and credible voice, you know, 
when Harris starts talking foreign policy, she doesn't have much experience. Of course, neither does um, Trump, and certainly neither did he. He, did, he famously had never even traveled. Uh, but she's getting there, but not abortion. Abortion uh, is just the winning issue for her to lead with, and not simply on policy, but on presentation, a fairly young, vital woman, and the, you know, 79-year-old, clearly misogynistic uh, former president. It's part and parcel of the whole, uh, I prosecuted sexual predators. He is one. So I think this is really something that is flummoxing the Republicans. I'll bet this in particular really gets Trump's coat today being in his backyard and taking, as I'm sure she will, a lot of attention away from him and uh, the issue. And, you know, they'll figure out their game. But the, but right now, their sort of natural constituency, the anti-abortion constituency, is of a mind of bring it on, showcase this. Well, she's a radical on abortion, all these things. That's a loser. And Trump and Vance and the people in the Republican campaign know it is. So how to fight back on her without... Uh, over elevating the issue generally because that plays to the interests of the Democrats and their new uh, standard bearer, Kamala Harris. See how this thing goes Wednesday. See what kind of coverage she gets. See whether Trump is fit to be tied at her taking attention away and her not real his not really having a solid response or or know where he is on abortion figuring out how to play it, uh, and you'll learn a lot about what the next several weeks will bring. Talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and other Talking Feds content, please take a second to like and subscribe. Talk to you later.